Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video overview and review of this little thing here. This is the ISDT Q6 Nano 200 watt pocket charger. Now this is relatively inexpensive and something that I was interested in getting my hands on because I'm quite a fan of the ISDT chargers. One of the ones that I use on a daily basis is one of the ISDT units here. Now this has quite an impressive spec even for its size. So this has a DC input of between 10 and 30 volts. No AC power supply, you're going to have DC. So something like this would work off a lead acid battery or a 3, 4 S battery, maximum input current is 9 amps, output voltage is 1 to 30 volts, charge current is anywhere from 0 0.1 to 8 amps, discharge current is relatively low like it is from most of these charges from about 0.1 to 1 amp, maximum charge capacity as I've mentioned is 200 watts, maximum discharge capacity is only about 10. Supports up to 6S batteries, available in green, white and yellow. Supports LIFE, uh, lithium ion, lithium polymer, lithium high voltage, lead and nickel metal hydride batteries as well. Little 1.5 inch 240 by 240 IPS LCD display and it's only 72 millimeters square and about 32 millimeters deep. The other thing to mention is that it is firmware upgradable via the USB thing at the side. Now this is only slightly smaller than something like the ISDT Q6 Pro, but it's bigger than something like the Toolkit M6. If you wanted more power, to be honest, 200 watts is an awful lot, uh, enough for you to balance charge stuff using this. If you wanted to have something like 300 watts, then the Q6 Pro, its bigger brother, would probably be a better bet for you. Does support backgo technology. I've looked at backgo in the past and to be honest it's not a widely adopted standard. It puts some smart stuff into the batteries so that it's automatically uh, setting up the charger for you and keeping track of the number of cycles etc. I only have a handful of backgo batteries so that's probably not as important for me. Now I've been playing this with a couple of days and charging packs with it. I love the fact that it just slips into your pocket. It's very handy to have at the field in case you want to top up batteries from a pack and to keep flying throughout the day. It has a really nice design. The way the fan's set up so it draws air from one side and out the other, doesn't have any air inlets on the bottom, is a good design, particularly if you're going to set it down on something like grass. I like the fact that it also detects cells and it also very nicely has a battery resistance measurement. I'll link to my video about what battery resistance is and why it's important to keep an eye on it. And it's also got full five modes more than you expect. It has charge, discharge, balance, store, DC power and destroy. Let me talk about the last two because those are slightly unusual ones. DC power is a really great idea and something I wish I had on some of my other chargers. It allows you to turn this little charger into a bench power supply. What a fantastic idea. I really like the way that ISDT have been thinking outside the box. When you're trying to uh, power something on the bench and you want to limit current and things like that, having a bench power supply is worth its weight in gold. Destroy is the last one I'll mention. Destroy is a mode that's essentially the same as plugging it into a car light bulb, which is what I do when my batteries have come to the end of their life, to completely discharge them. And this little charger will do the same. Although because of the relatively low discharge currents and wattages, that can take quite a bit of time. And I'd always recommend doing something like that outside anyway. Uh, batteries don't tend to like to go through that kind of abuse. But discharging them completely is a common request for lots of places that recycle them. Only a couple of things to be aware here. First of all is the navigation button, as you've seen in the video, is a little bit fiddly. It's a, a scroll up, scroll down like an enter key in the middle. To get the enter key cleanly every time is really hard work. Uh, once you've had it for a while, you kind of get the hang of it. But it's easy to accidentally press the up and down button when you're trying to get the enter. The screen is quite small, it is quite nice and bright, so you can see it in pretty bright light, but the writing is pretty small, so if you need reading spectacles, I'd probably have those handy too. And the last one is there isn't any USB output on here to charge something like your phone, and that can be particularly handy at the field when you're going to be there all day, and you might be using the phone for telemetry or um, connecting it and monitoring something using QGround control or something like that. 
So in summary, this gets a thumbs up from me. It's another really, really cute charger from ISDT, and it's amazing that we can get this much technology in such a small package for such a relatively low price. However, I will not be able to use this one. I don't use field chargers. I'm lucky enough to have enough batteries to take to the field, and where I go, there tends to be a charger there already. So this one needs a new home. So it's giveaway time. If you want to be in with a chance of winning this ISDT Q6 Nano Charger, then as usual, like the video, make sure that you are a subscriber of the channel and leave a comment down below and include the words, I want one. And then all of the comments with I want one in them, I'll use that to weed out everybody that hasn't stayed with the video to the end like you have and do the draw in a week or two. Thanks for sticking through to the video to the very end. Uh, best of luck to everybody. And if you can't wait, there is links down below to go and have a look at this on places like Banggood. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.